Okay, so we're currently looking at chapter 14, and this is our chapter on marriage and the family. By the way, we offer a class just on this topic, uh, Social 102, Marriage and the Family. It's typically the case with a lot of the um, chapters you're reading in Social 101, our introductory class. You'll get, for example, a class, Social 106, just on crime, Social 104, just on deviance, Social 102, as I mentioned, Marriage and the Family, Social 103, Social Problems. So. Um, if any of these chapters interest you, you can consider taking another course that we offer here at the college or another institution of your choosing. Um, so chapter 14, what is marriage? What is the family? Uh, the first section of three sections of the chapter is defining these two terms. We'll look at society's current understandings of the family. We'll describe some changes in marriage and family patterns, particularly maybe as we see that some young people are deciding to marry later in life, not to have children, or maybe to cohabitate earlier than they would have in the past, as opposed to maybe, um, we call this in the anthropology, neo-local residence, where they set up shop on their own. Maybe in the past, the circumstance was you lived with well, one of the parents, the in-laws, and so forth. Uh, lastly, we differentiate between uh, descent and residence in terms of the family and marriage. Uh, section two is variations in family life. We'll first focus on what these variations in family life entail. We'll describe the prevalence of single parents, cohabitation, same-sex couples, and unmarried uh, individuals in society. We'll discuss the social impact of changing family structures. And then third section, we'll talk about the challenges faced by families. We'll look at the social and interpersonal impact of divorce, and we'll describe the social and in interpersonal impact of family abuse in society. So um, these are the issues we'll talk about this week in chapter 14 of our sociology text.